What's up, millennials? Today I added about 20% to my Teladoc position, and of course I notified my Discord premium members. And in this video, I would like to give you three reasons why I actually bought today and why I added to my position. Keep in mind, these are just three reasons. There are, of course, multiple other reasons, but I'm just going to give you three of them. The first reason has to do with ARK Invest, the second one with the earnings from last year, and the last one with technical analysis. So let's get into it. So as I've mentioned before, the first reason has to do with ARK Invest. ARK Invest is very, very bullish on Teladoc. They have been keeping, they have uh, kept adding shares, of course, to their positions, to their funds, as we're going to uh, see in just a second. So here we have four ETFs that I'm going to show you today. Uh, ARK K, ARK G, ARK F, and ARK W, I believe. So let's just take a look at ARK K right here. We can see Teladoc in position number three. It's uh, quite a big position already. They have about seven and a half million shares and the market value is over 1.4 billion dollars quite incredible six percent of this etf and rk is like their main etf so this is the rg one this is of course the genomic etf of arc invest and here we can see that teladoc is in the first a very first position they currently have 3.7 million shares in this etf and that is of course 700 million dollars in uh yeah in shares of course and that has a nice percentage of more than seven percent here we've got the RW ETF, which is the next generation internet ETF. Looks like they're uh, trying to stuff in Teladoc in as many funds as they can. <laughs> Quite funny to see. Anyways, Teladoc, we can see it's in position number four here with 1.6 million shares uh, with a net worth of $300 million more than that. And even it's in their ARCF ETF, their FinTech ETF. Uh, this is probably a stretch, but okay, just plug it in, whatever. <laughs> if you like Teladoc that much, uh, yeah, just put it in all your ETFs, why not? We can see that Teladoc is in a lower position here, uh, in position number 29 with 280,000 shares, more or less, with a net worth of about 40 or $54 million, of course. So it's quite interesting to see that the Teladoc holdings are quite massive for all of these funds, basically, especially the ARK-K one and especially the ARK-G, the genomic ETF, of course. I've just quickly added all of these shares up to see how many shares they actually have in total for Teladoc. And as we can see, if we add up all these shares, we can see that they have a total amount of shares of 13.1 million, and that has a total worth of $2.5 billion, so quite insane. They have about 8.6%, a share of 8.6% in Teladoc, which is uh, yeah quite incredible to see. So I do think that ARK Invest is quite bullish on this stock. And the cool thing is, as we can see in this website, kathysark.com, we can see that they have been consistently adding shares to their position. Here we can see the Teladoc position uh, within Arc K, so that's their uh, main ETF basically. And we can see that over the past couple of months, they have been simply just continuously adding and adding more to their shares. Currently, their uh, average cost is about $164 according to this website. If we look at RG, they already had been accumulating quite a bit uh, in, uh, yeah, the, in the past. Right now, it's a little bit stagnating or a little bit uh, horizontal. If we look at RF, kind of like the same thing, and RW, kind of, kind of like the same thing as well. So especially RK, they're continuously just adding more to their position. So they seem to be very, very bullish. The second reason has to do with their earnings of last year. They published their 10K, so their annual report, just a while ago. And as we can see, the revenue growth has been quite accelerating. Uh, they had a revenue growth of 98% in 2020 versus 2019. So that's pretty epic to see. And the revenue, the total revenue for the year 2020 was also more than $1 billion. So that's quite incredible. Uh, as we can see, the paid amount of memberships for the Teladoc visits have also gone up substantially with 41% year over year to 51.8 million visits in total paid memberships. Uh, and uh, sorry, and those are the paid memberships. And here we have the, the amount of visits, the total amount of visits have gone up 156% year over year as well to about 10.5 million total visits in 2020. 
Unfortunately, however, Teladoc is currently still operating at a loss. As we can see in the earnings, they had a net loss of 485.1 million for the full year 2020, but that was mainly because of the merger with Livongo last year. You might know that. Uh, they had, of course, acquisition and integration related costs and also other expenses related to that merger with Livongo. So let's see if the, this year could actually be their first uh, positive year. So without a net loss, that would be pretty cool to see. And then my last reason has to do with technical analysis. I'm just going to go over a few of my points within the technical analysis for Teladoc TDOC. Uh, first of all, the support. Uh, the, we can now see that they have a quite big support that they currently hit. They actually went up all the way to almost $300 per share. They actually get, got through that $300 per share on the 16th of February. But then they quickly went back down, unfortunately, and we are currently sitting back on this support level of almost like $185, more or less. I believe I've also talked about this support level in previous videos about Teladoc, because we can see that the support was created basically by this low over here. And by the way, we are on the daily chart right now. So every candlestick, every vertical bar you see red or green is one day of price action. So we can see that this low created a nice support, then it came back up, went back down to the exact same support, up, down to the same support, up, down, basically to the same support. It did go a little bit lower than that, but it actually quickly reverted back to the upside. And that was actually a major opportunity to add a little bit to your position if that was, uh, yeah, uh, what you were uh, wanting to do, of course. We saw here that the price action came back down to that same level. And right now we are again for like the eighth time or something like that at that same level of about $185. Right now we are sitting nicely above that, of course. So apart from the major support level at that level of $185 more or less, we can also see a, an, a few different things. We can see, for example, the RSI is kind of crossing above this EMA. So the RSI is this blue line over here. The RSI standing for the Relative Strength Index. And we can see that this blue line has now crossed this white line. This white line is a moving average on the RSI. And usually when the RSI crosses above the exponential moving average on the RSI, it's usually a good sign. Also, we can see that the RSI has been very low. It was sitting at a level of almost 22, which has been like the lowest in quite a while, maybe even ever if we just scroll out a little bit. I think this might be the lowest level we have seen on the RSI ever. And that is usually a pretty good sign to yeah have that as a nice buy level, in my opinion. And the last thing I'll mention is the MACD, so the Moving Average Com uh, Conversion Divergence Indicator. <clears throat> this has also shown a nice cross to the upside. So the MACD is this blue line over here. The orange line is the so-called signal line. And when we have it cross back to the upside, that's usually a good sign. And that could be interpreted as a buy signal as well. Of course, keep in mind, technical analysis is not like 100% guaranteed. This doesn't mean that we now are going to see prices to the moon, that we are going to go back to that $300 level. Technical analysis is just an indication, one of the tools you can use within your toolbox for investing. So those were a few of the reasons why I bought Teladoc, why I added 20% to my Teladoc position. Now, I'd also like to hear from you because what was your reason for buying or maybe not buying Teladoc shares? Let me know in the comments. And with that being said, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.